Hello there. Good morning. My name is Emma, and today we're going to talk about dopamine detoxing over a cup of coffee by cappuccino. It's delicious. Okay, to start off, what is a dopamine detox? Well, dopamine, definition wise, is a neuromodulatory molecule. If you don't know what that is, which I feel like 99% of the population doesn't, it is a chemical in your brain, okay? It, it, it uh, produces good, happy hormones, motivation, great stuff. We love dopamine. Okay, so detoxing, on the other hand, is a period of time where one abstains from unhealthy behaviors and activities. So some things that give dopamine include social media, Netflix, video games, but also sex, alcohol, and drugs. So any pleasurable activity that produces dopamine. So you might think, well, it makes you feel happy and it gives pleasure. So what's the issue? And why would you even want to abstain from that? The whole purpose of dopamine detoxing is to stop doing the things that are causing problems in your life and are leading to and feeding into addiction. And all of those things that I said, do that. So we need to stop those. And I'm going to tell you how. So the thing with um, all of the activities that I said is that the body and the brain are very, very, very smart, okay? They get used to something incredibly fast. That is the entire point of our body. We are, what's the word? We get used to things really fast. We can adapt easily. So what happens is the, the more that you do something, the more you need to keep on doing it and increasing it in order to get that same feeling. So for example, <clears throat> with video games you know you get that high where it's like it's just like you feel euphoric almost when you're playing you know you're talking with your buddies you're having a, <laughs> having a good time spending hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and it's fun and all but when you get off of it you kind of have this like mental crash where you'll probably experience some things like depression, anxiety, intrusive thoughts, just negative feelings and thoughts in general. And then the only thing that makes you feel better is to go back on the video games. That's literally the definition of it, of addiction. So let's talk about how you can prevent that okay here here's the here's the fact of the matter you can entirely stop these things like netflix social media video games um drugs alcohol and live a even happier more satisfactory life yes that is what i meant to say absolutely in fact you're going to be much happier without these things in your life so if you want to do that, let's go into the process of it. So as you go through this dopamine detox, the brain will start to change and you will experience some withdrawals of sorts. So the first two, mm, actually no, the first one to two weeks, depending on how addicted you are and how long you've been doing it, um, they're going to really... <laughs> really suck okay so you're gonna experience withdrawals because your brain and your body was very very used to this activity so let's just go for social media as an example instagram snapchat tiktok all that stuff so the first one to two weeks like i said is going to be really 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 hard you're gonna have lack of motivation you're gonna have maybe depression, anxiety, thoughts, you're going to miss it. Oh God, it's going to be so hard. But after the one to two weeks are done, you're going to notice some changes. 
you're going to feel more positive. You're going to have more energy. You're going to have more motivation. And you're not going to feel like you even need or want that dopamine giver addiction anymore. It's just going to dissipate. It's not even going to exist anymore. If that sounds too good to be true, I'm going to explain the science behind it. So, uh, when you play video games, when you go on social media, when you watch Netflix, when you engage in drugs and alcohol, you are extending your amygdala, which increases your anxiety and your depression when you're not doing that activity. So that causes you to rely on it. And then for... Um, the prefrontal cortex, that, that too, which that's responsible for thinking clearly and making good decisions, that like <clears throat> crashes and burns when you're doing these things. <laughs> don't you like, don't you realize like when you're on social media, you're, you're great. And then when you turn your phone off, you're so bored or you're so sad. You're so anxious. Like you, you can't do it. It's like, it's like you're, you came and like live without these things you're so hyper dependent on it <sighs> these things aren't the only things that can make you happy you're just you're just temporarily dependent on it there are plenty of other things healthy things there there's lots of things that are dopamine producers that don't require addiction. <laughs> for example, uh, going for walks, reading, engaging in a hobby such as piano, drawing, art, bicycling, whatever. It could be like the weirdest thing. It could be like you like to make, well, it's not, I don't think it's weird, but like very specific soy candles, you know? There's lots of things that you can do that aren't hurting your mental health that you actually find joy in. And that, that was a very small list. I mean, I'm just like speaking from personal experience, but. So if this sounds good and you'd like to be happier and maybe have more motivation, more energy, more positivity in your life and less dependence on the dopamine suckers, here's the steps. Okay, number one, decide and commit to you doing a dopamine detox. Yes, write down your why. Otherwise, when it gets rough in the first week or two, which it will, you're going to give up and you're going to be like, nope, fuck this. I'm over it. I'm going on my video games. <laughs> write down your why. I am doing this because I am feeling depressed. I'm feeling anxious and I do not want to be dependent on these things anymore. I'm over it. I deserve and want to live a happy, fulfilled life. Write it down. Okay. Step two. I almost just dropped my cappuccino. Delete your accounts and your games. Because it is an addiction and chances are your willpower is less than your desire to play games at the moment at the moment okay and I know that it's like hard and that you don't want to but think about what are you really losing hmm you're losing anxiety depression uh, wasting time. You're not really losing anything if you think about it. You're just like, you're just losing an addiction that makes you feel good temporarily, but doesn't actually lead to sustained happiness. So the very thing that makes you feel good and, and okay is causing all of your issues. Hmm. You're not losing anything. You're really not. 
Okay, number three, start your detox. Yay! You got to basically doing the entire thing. <laughs> so you can do, um, you can keep track of your progress by maybe keeping a calendar or calling up one of your besties or buddies <laughs> and being like, hey, dude, like I'm doing this dopamine detox thing and I don't feel like I can entirely be accountable by myself. So can you just like help me? And if they're a real friend, of course they would. So, um, or if not, you can like ask like a grandpa or grandma or mom or dad, whatever. I'm sure there are also plenty of online platforms or YouTubers that have talked about this and I know that they have and they can really help you too. It's just one place you can get this information from in my perspective. Okay, number four, stick to it for 90 days. Now, before you freak out, because that is a hella long time, it seems like, but those 90 days are going to happen anyways. So would you rather spend 90 days feeling anxiety, depressed, and relying on these things? Or do you want to have 90 days of growth and progress? The answer kind of seems kind of obvious. Just saying. Oh, and the reason for 90 days is because um, it's research that that's how long the, the brain takes to heal from addiction. So that's the reason for that exact number. So number five, step number five, is to find other things, um, healthy activities that produce dopamine, aka make you happy, okay? So this can be hobbies, spending time with friend, friends, or just anything that isn't addictive and bad, okay? So there are plenty of things to do. You can, like I said, hobbies, Google up different hobbies, to do instead of video games, you know, anything. Like, there's so much information. The world is at your fingertips. Just look for it, okay? And then finally, step number six. After 90 days is up, you can either, you can do one of two things. So one, you can continue your dopamine detox and live in your life of happiness and stability. Or you can start to invite back in moderation um those types of things like social media netflix video games moderation i would not recommend to do this though however because these sort of platforms are set up to pull you in they know what you like they know what you will watch they know they know so by doing that, you are potentially exposing yourself to experience what you already went through again, and that you worked so hard and were so disciplined to get out of. So if you think that you can do it in moderation, go ahead, it's personal choice, but warning you right now, be cautious, be cautious with I hope that this video helped you a little bit understand what a dopamine detox is, what you can expect from the process, and steps that you can personally take to experience this. I would highly recommend to look more into it so you can really, really have a deep understanding of it. You can do this through Google, watch YouTube videos on it, anything. But thanks for staying around, and I'll see you later.